Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Louis C.K. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. How you doing? Nice to be here uh, in Houston. A lot of people ask me the same thing when I travel. They say to me, what is it like growing up Chinese? And I always tell them that for me, growing up Chinese was really weird, you know? Because nobody in my neighborhood was Chinese, and uh, neither am I. So that's... <laughs> so the other day I was uh, hanging out in an airport waiting for a fucking whatever, and I'm um, standing there, and this guy asked me the time, and I don't know if this ever happened to you, but when somebody asks you the time, you ever just panic? Like, I just said I couldn't read my watch. Because it was just too much pressure, you know? He, and they're always in a hurry when they ask, you know? He's like, hey, you know the time? I'm like, yeah, I got it. Ah! Ah! Hey, wait, I got it. 10, 4, 92. It's 40 of 980. Shit! I hate it. I don't know. I can't deal with it. I wish people would warn me. I'm going to ask you the time in like half an hour. Just collect your thoughts. Because I can't. And I need a watch to get through the day. And I, but I wish I could. I was invisible. Because people ask me now what I do. People are like, you have the time? I just go, yeah, you suck. That's what time it is. Fuck you. That's what time it is, you piece of shit. Just because it's easier. I'm not a bad guy. It's just easier. They go away. They move on. One time these French people asked me for directions in New York. And the best part was they didn't even, they just asked totally in French. They didn't make, there was no hesitation at all. They, they didn't even go like a, uh, how do you say? Or something like that, nothing. <laughs> they just walk up to me, and one of them just goes like, uh, je le je, de le je le je le je le je le toi, de le je le toi. And I was like, I, I don't speak French. And the guy couldn't imagine what might be going wrong. He's like, je le je, le je le je le toi. And his friend's like, le je le je le and I was like, guess what? I don't speak French. Which isn't weird, because we're not in France right now. <laughs> like one time I was standing on a street corner and I was eating a peach and this guy starts waving at me from across the street. And what do you do when someone waves at you? You just wave back, your arm just shoots up there. And I had a peach, so I'm waving the peach at the guy. And then I realized that he's not waving at me. I don't even know the fucking guy. He's waving at a guy behind me. So I'm just waving a peach. At nobody, people looking at me. I didn't want to stop waving because I, I would be admitting that I fucked up, you know? I just kept waving it. I just started going, look at my peach! I have a peach! Look at it! Then people were afraid of me. That's respect. One time I saw a guy in a bicycle and he was about to get hit with a car door. It was horrible. And he wasn't looking, and the lady opening the door wasn't looking. It was just, like, just for me. And I didn't know what to do. I was like, ah! Like, I, I wanted to yell something, but what do you yell? And I'm trying to, like, a time slows down. I'm trying to choose the thing to yell that will have all the information that he needs. Because it was happening really fast. I had, like, that much time to yell, you know, what can I yell in that much time? That's, hey, you got to my God! You know, that's not... She's going to open the door again! Ah, shit! I, I just yelled out, bad thing! <laughs> Wasn't really specific enough. Oh, well. This is weird. One time I was at a party, and a friend of mine goes to me, hey, is that your guitar behind you? So I looked at the guitar, and I was like, no, that's not mine. The weird thing is, I don't have a guitar. I've never had one. So why am I looking? I don't have to look. It really can't be mine. I should just be able to go, no, and I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> you ever do this? You know when you tell somebody a story, and then a week later you tell them the same story again? Because you forgot. And by this time you've added a bunch of lies to it. <laughs> One time I went shopping. You ever do this? I went shopping, and I had no money, and I forgot. You ever done that? Like, you ever just forget you're broke? and like go eat a meal or something. <laughs> and then you realize, ah, whoops. And I went like big, I went to this department store and I got like a fucking electric toothbrush and all this stuff. And the guy goes, $85? And I was like, oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> and he's like, well, you don't have enough? No, I don't have any.
And where do you go from there, really? What's the next step from that? He didn't know either. He's like, uh, you want to put some items back? Is that what you're saying? Put them all back, I think. You... Got to keep marking a price down until you hit zero. Because that's what I got on me. Where do you do? Where do you... I didn't know how to leave, even. Like, all right, well, I'm all okay. I'm all set. Uh, I enjoyed picking this stuff out anyway. What do you do? You ever been that embarrassed in front of other people that you think there's no way they're not going to hate you for the rest of their lives? You ever just think you might as well just yell a cocksucker and run out the door? Like, that might be the only way to save face. Just go, cocksucker! And just run off. Because at least that's what they'll remember about you. Yeah. I went to Walmart the other day. You guys have Walmart here, don't you? Who doesn't? We are all in Walmart right now, I think. That place is huge and fucking horrible. I can never finish shopping there. I just get tired and I go home. I just leave my cart full of shit in the middle of the store because I can't get through it. It's like a casino. There's no clocks and no windows. and Just fucking constant. Remember, we have houses you can have by a house. They're in aisle two. You can buy a giant thing for 10 cents. <laughs> It's just so fucking evil. And there's people working it are all depressed because Walmart closed whatever store they owned. Now they have this shitty fucking apron on and they're, <laughs> they hate you because you shop there. And they, they sell everything. It's ridiculous. I like going there and asking them for stuff in combinations that kind of freak them out because you can get everything there, you know. I like to go to Walmart like, hi, I need a jar of mayonnaise and a stopwatch and a Bible. I'd like some road flares and a pair of pink panties. <laughs> Quickly, come on, hurry up. I need them right now. Case of motor oil and a blonde wig. That's what I need. And a glass eye. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> I'm on a new diet. Feels good, man. I'm on that new diet. You know that new diet where you can eat steak with butter on it? You can eat burgers and you can have fries, ice cream, cake, and donuts and you just get fat like a pig, and you keep eating anyway. You, you feel shitty, you eat more, you jerk off and go to sleep. That's my new diet. It's a very popular diet. It's got, you're on that too? Yeah, it's very popular. It's got a name, it's called just fucking eat it. You're gonna eat it, eat it, you fat shit, eat it. That's what it's called. And I get away with it. I can eat whatever and I just get fat. It's no problem for me. It doesn't matter what I eat, I just gain weight. It's so easy. I'm lucky. <laughs> Man, it's brutal. I hate it. You know when you know you're going to eat something that's going to make you feel like shitty and you eat it anyway? That's the worst thing. I do it all the time. Like, I go and I'm like, I got to have some donuts, you know? <laughs> Shit. And I go to the donut place. Just give me some donuts. Yeah, 12. What do you think? What the fuck is that supposed to Yeah, 12. And after two, I'm like, this sucks, but I just keep forcing them and I just feel like shit. And I can't not do it. You know, and I have friends who like, uh, like I have a friend who's married and he can't stop fucking around. Like it's impossible for him. He's like, I had to fuck this girl. I had to fuck her. I met her, so I had to fuck her. But he can't stop himself. I, I have no problem being with one woman. I'm married, but I can't not eat all the donuts on the planet Earth because it's different. You know, for, for sex, there's masturbating. For food, there's nothing like that. You know, I can't watch the Food Network and go, oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, God, that looks good, yeah, cook. Yeah, cook that shit, bitch. Come on, yeah, cook it. Doesn't do me a lot of good. I used to drink a lot, too. And uh, I learned a lot from drinking, though. You learned lessons from drinking, things you never forget. One thing I learned from drinking is that if you ever go Christmas caroling, you should go with a group of people, you know? <laughs> And also go, like, around December. That's the best time of year. Just... When you're out there in mid-July and you're naked with a bottle of Jack Daniels outside your ex-girlfriend's house going, Jingle bells! A lot of people don't consider that caroling for some reason. Yeah, I got married, and uh, I like it. I like being married. We fight sometimes. But here's what I've learned about fighting. This is the easiest way to end a fight. I just take her side against me. Because then, then it's over. 
it's just easier, you know? She's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I know, shit, damn it, oh. Oh, when's it gonna end? It gives her nowhere to go, you know? Well, you're a dick. I know, I'm a dick. I'm the worst. Well, my wife and I were thinking of having a baby, and I'd like to have a kid, because you can name your kid anything you want. I like that part. I'd like to give my kid an interesting name, you know? Like a name with no vowels, maybe, you know? Just like... Just like 40 Fs, that's his name. Go clean your room, you know, something like that. Some people name their kid a word, like sunshine or battery or something like that, like they use a word. I like to name my kid a whole phrase, you know? Something like ladies and gentlemen, that would be a great name for a kid. That way when he gets out of hand, I get to go, ladies and gentlemen, please, and stuff like that. And I would like that. This is my son, ladies and gentlemen. I like kids, you know? I like some kids. You can't like all kids, because some kids are shitty. It's true. And some people don't want to ever admit that. There's people that are like, every child is like a star in the shining sea. No, some kids suck, man. Some kids are just shitty. It's true, you've seen them. You know when you're in a store and you see a kid and you're just like, fuck that kid, man. That kid's a fucking jerk. I hate that kid. This is a shitty little kid, man. <laughs> I saw a kid like that once. I was in a store and I'm looking at this kid and just fucking hating him. Because I'm, I'm waiting in line. What am I going to, you know. That's what you do when you're waiting in line. You just pick someone to hate while you're waiting, you know. Just some guy, you just start forming an opinion with no information at all. You're a fucking loser. Hey, that girl, what a prick. Wearing a tie. Fuck you. What do you think? You're better than me? You know, just, just to occupy yourself. He's standing there. He has no idea you're boiling with hatred, you know? So I picked this kid, and I'm hating him. He's shitty. He was like, nee, nee. Just seemed like a shitty kid to me. And I'm looking at him. And then he looked at me. And the worst thing is that this is a true story. This kid's looking at me. He's like six years old. Nobody else was looking. So I just went like this. I went. I just flipped him off. Just, just real quick, little thing between me and him. And he couldn't believe it. He was like, oh! He was blown away. Because nobody does that. Nobody gives the finger to some kid for no reason. I think I helped him out a little there, you know? Yeah, that happens. Deal with it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I think parents must want to do that to their kids all the time. As much as you love your kid, there has to be those times. Your kid's being this shit, and he's going, Why can't I have a candy? I wanted a candy! And you just want to go, Hey, you know what? Fuck you, kid, all right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. How do you like that, huh? <laughs> fuck you, buddy! I, don't know. I always seem to get in trouble with people. I don't know what happens to me, uh... I was in traffic once, and a guy behind me lost his mind. That ever happened to you? The guy behind you in traffic just decides that you're the problem. It's you. I don't know what happened. I'm sitting in this car, and there's just there's 50 cars ahead of me before any light. And the guy behind me just starts, beep, 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 beep. I look at him, and he's honking just at me. He's amazed that I'm not going. He's going, go, Jesus! Me, just go! Screaming out his window at me. Like I'm driving all 50 cars there, you know? I'm pushing them like shopping carts in a parking lot. What does he think? He keeps yelling, go! And I, I'm trying to do that thing. What? I can't. What do you want? What do you want? Why are you. But it just made him matter. He was like, Bruh! he was like purple and crazy. And I'm laughing at him, you know, till he gets out of his car. He's one of these guys, gets out of his car, comes up to my car, starts screaming at me, move it, move it. And what am I gonna, what am I gonna say back? What's gonna be my argument that's gonna make him see clearly, you know? Like, well, I can't because of all the cars. I'm not able to get through the cars because they're solid. They're made of solid material. You know what I mean? 
And he's going to go, oh, yeah, I, oh, no, I didn't know they were solid. That's right. Yeah, you can't drive through the cars. Or I'll just go back to my car and wait. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. But he kept yelling at me. So I just decided, you know what? I'm going to argue with this guy. I'll argue with him. But I'm going to argue about something else. I'm not going to have his argument. I'm going to have mine. So he goes, move it! And I go, well, give me back my jacket! <laughs> and he stopped. And I was like, yeah, you got my jacket! Give it back! Now! I want it! He got scared. Got back in his car and he locked his doors. So, you know, that's what I do from now on. I'm going to do a couple impressions for you guys. All right. This first one, this is my impression of a superhero being propositioned by a hooker. All right, a superhero being propositioned by a hooker. Hey, baby, want to have a good time? No. <laughs> All right, now this is a... Uh, This is a guy who doesn't know how to match his face to what he's saying. It's a guy who doesn't know how to match his face to what he's saying. You guys get out! The place is burning down! <laughs> Here's a guy who doesn't know if he's from Alabama or Brooklyn. Doesn't know if he's from Alabama or Brooklyn. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, buddy, how you fucking doing, eh? <laughs> Let's do this. You guys will like this. You know when you go to a diner? You know those old diners where you order breakfast, and they take your order, they yell it to the kitchen, but they use, like, a code? You know those old diner codes? Well, I came up with my own code, and it covers all breakfast foods, and I'd like to demonstrate it for you. But I need a little help from you. So just order breakfast, sir, all right? And when he orders his breakfast, I'll translate it to you using my code. So just the way you like your breakfast, usually. Scrambled All right, any, anything else for that? Scrambled eggs and bacon. Something to drink there, buddy? Orange juice, sorry. All right, All right uh, wake up the monkey and show him a dollar. <laughs> Shave my back and slap my sister. Wax lips, two lumpy tits riding sidecar. <laughs> and scrambled eggs and bacon and orange juice. I was talking to my friend the other day. I have this friend. You ever have one of those friends? You ever have a friend who's just an idiot? Well, this friend of mine, he's always talking in cliches. That's what I hate about him. He can't, he just talks in cliches. And he doesn't even say one that matches to what I was saying, you know? Like, he's just got one ready for when it's his turn to talk. You know, whatever I say, I'll be like, oh, I locked my keys in my car. And he's like, yeah, well, don't shit where you eat. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Like, oh, I forgot my sister's birthday. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. <laughs> I, like the, I like those people that use old sayings, but they don't know how they end, so they just trail off. You know, people are like, yeah, well, a uh, bird in a hand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I don't think you know what you're saying. A bird in a hand what, you idiot? You know what I do? I just make up my own endings, because nobody gives a shit. Nobody's listening to you. I just go, ah, bird in a hand is like a man in the sand. You know what I mean? <laughs> when in Rome, you got to grab the hand of a badger's dad. That's what I always say. Yep. I was talking to my, uh, this guy, Jerry, that I know. and He's one of these guys, you know those people who, they sound like they're happy for you, but they, they, they sound like they're in pain also? You know people that talk like that? He's like, hey, what's going on? And I go, well, my sister is getting married. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's ter oh, that's terrific. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have a baby. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! God bless you! Wow. Thanks, pal. This is, this is a true story. I know I, I say a lot of the stories are true, and, you know, there's a lot of stories that are bullshit. You know, like those urban myths? You know those stories that people swear are true, but you know that they're bullshit? You know, like everybody has that story, like the guy who goes on a date with a girl, and 
you know, he sleeps with her and he wakes up. And when he wakes up, she's at the foot of the bed and she's going, la, 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 la. And you know it's bullshit, but he's like, no, what happened to me? And you're like, fuck you. But anyway, this story is true. So I called a friend of mine the other day. You ever make a phone call and you get the wrong number and the person that answers can't believe that you would ever get a wrong number? You ever get someone who doesn't take it in stride? I got this lady once. I was like, hi, is Tony there? She's like, who? Tony. I don't know a Tony. How did you get this number? What do you want from me? I guess it was the first time her phone rang in like 20 years or something. She hung up, so I just kept pressing redial. Put Tony on her, I'll fucking kill you. Put her on! I used to like when my phone rang. Now it's always some idiot calling me. AT&T calls me every day. Hi, it's AT&T. You're calling. If you want to switch to AT&T, it's good service because you call your friend on the phone. Uh, they can be in another part of the area. And you call them. And you don't have to yell or anything. You're just right there. So what do you think? Would you like to switch? It only costs some money. Would you like to switch for the AT&T? And I'm like, no, I, I already have AT&T. I have it already. Why are you calling me? Well, still, you, you want some more? Because it's good. <laughs> Get some more AT&T. It's better than the other ones. I know I have it! Stop fucking calling me! <laughs> My bank called me the other day. I love this. My bank calls and they, and they say, uh, uh, Hi, we're calling because you don't have enough money. And I was like, yeah, I know that. I also am of the opinion that I don't have enough money. And she's like, no, you don't understand. See, you have insufficient funds. Well, yeah, that's also a very good way of putting it. I think my funds are grossly insufficient. Thank you for calling. I thought, I thought it was my problem that I'm fucking broke. I thought that was just my own. I thought I was the only one who suffered, but apparently the bank has a serious problem with it. Like somehow it fucks them up that I'm broke. And she said, well, no, you can't have such a low amount of money. It's where we can't tolerate that. I'm like, well, then give me some fucking money. If you feel I don't have enough, then give me some. <laughs> they have some money at the bank, but that's not what they do. They do the opposite. They take your money. If you don't have enough, they charge you money for being broke. They charge me $15 for only having $20. I, if I could have gotten the 20 out, I could fucking have it today. But I didn't get there quick enough, so now I have five. And I don't know if you've ever had five dollars in the bank, but I found that you can't get the shit out. You can't get it out, because there's no fives in any machine anywhere. And it costs a dollar fifty to use it anyway, so, and there's certainly not three dollars and fifty cents in any fucking cock-sucking machine in any bank. There's no quarters and singles, motherfuckers. Shit, dick, ball ass. I'm not. I'm not eloquent. I just fuck them. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> but that was the worst. My five dollars trapped in there, and I would just go visit it. That's all I could do. But then one day they charged me again for having not enough money. So then I had negative ten. Negative ten. You know what that means? That means I don't even have no money. I don't have that much. I'd love to have nothing, but that's more than I have. I'm not even broke. I'm not that good. I have not 10. That's how much I have. That means I can't even afford to get something that doesn't cost anything. If somebody says to me, you want this? It's free. I got to go, I can't. I can't afford it. That's beyond my means. And you know what's great is if you have a lot of money, the bank gives you money. They pay you for having money. They say, that's so nice of you to have money. Here, have some more. Here, take this guy's 15. Fuck him. Who does he think he is? <laughs> it's only right that since he has so little, he should have to give most of it to you because you have so much. It makes perfect sense. <clears throat> Sometimes I dream of what I would do with money if I had it, you know. Like I was uh, reading about Bill Gates. That guy... You know, he owns Microsoft. He has $90 billion, that guy. Now, if I had $90 billion, I wouldn't have it for very long. <laughs> I think I would just fucking blow it. 
I would. Because I feel like I would only need one billion. That's all that I would keep. Because I could live pretty well in a billion dollars, you know? I'm not good with money, but I think one billion I could probably stretch for a long time. And think of having, think of having 89 billion dollars that you don't truly need. You know the kind of shit you could do with 89 billion dollars? You could take like one billion, just peel off one of those one day, and just, you could buy every baseball team and just make them all wear dresses. You could do that. That's the kind of shit you could do, you know? Or you could take 89 billion and you could probably cure like most diseases, you know? That's what I would do. But first, I would change my name to something like, uh, like Farty McCrablice, you know? Or, uh, uh, or Cunty McShitballs. That would be my name legally. Then I'd donate all 89 billion. Because then people would have to say my name. It would be, they'd, everyone would have to say it. Dan Rather today, Cunty McShitballs. The president would have me over. God bless you, Cunty. Thank you very much. God bless Cunty McShitballs. <laughs> you can open up a business, too. You know what I would love to do with $89 billion? I'd love to open up a business that just sucks, you know? But just keep it going. Just, like, keep expanding. The worst fucking store you ever saw. Just, like, it's called, like, the shit fuck piss store. That's the name of the store. And it's just awful. All we sell is pencils. And they cost a million dollars each. And there'd be commercials, like, every two minutes on TV for the shit fuck piss store. Come on down. Pencils are still one million dollars each. And people are like, that place sucks. But I'd keep it open just to piss them off, you know? Just to get people angry. I'm not paying a million dollars for a pencil. I think that's overpriced. But they've been open for 50 years. That would be my dream. Just surround every Starbucks with five shit-ass piss fuck stores. Or whatever it was. I don't, I don't even remember the name of my shitty store anymore. <laughs> So I was listening to the radio on the way here. I was listening to one of those classic hit stations. And they had that song. It's one of those 70s protest songs that, was, that really sucked. You know those protest songs? that they, they ran out of shit to protest, so they just came up with something. This song is that guy that goes, sign, sign, everywhere, sign. You know that song? The guy's like, he gets all mad at signs. Like, oh, signs. They're fucked up. Bullshit. Blocking the scenery, breaking my mind. Do this, don't do that. No, there's nothing wrong with signs. There's signs that say, don't go to that dangerous place. Those are good signs. Stop signs are a really good idea. He's like, yeah, signs suck, man. It's bullshit. Teach me the sign. Then there's this one part of the song where he says that he went to a job interview, and it said, he goes, and the sign said, long-haired freaky people need not apply. All right, first of all, no, it didn't. You're a liar. No sign ever said that ever. And you're trying to get people angry at something you made up. And that's fucking stupid. Sometimes you meet racist people, too. You know what's funny to me? When you meet someone who's racist and they have an excuse. I met this guy once, very racist. I don't know where he's from, but I asked his friend, why is he like that? And his friend goes, ah, well, he was born on a farm. <laughs> what kind of farm was that? How do you get... Maybe the animals were racist. Maybe the animals on the farm were racist. They're like, Jews. Jews. Blacks. Blacks. Jews. Blacks. Mexicans. Wow. It's a pretty racist farm. You know what, too? Every time you hear a racial stereotype, it's always negative. It's always something shitty. Why can't we have racial stereotypes that are nice? You can say things about races that are ignorant, but pleasant. You know? You're like, yeah, you know those Chinese people. They're made of candy. You know? <laughs> and whenever you see, like, public service announcements on television that are like, don't be racist or whatever, they're always shitty. They're always badly made. You know? But then you watch, like, a... Uh, like a commercial for like Mountain Dew and there's a fucking cheetah stealing a guy's fucking soda. 
They should have like PSAs that are really great, you know, like young people at a bar and there's music, you know, fucking shitty rock and roll and they're drinking and some kid goes like, a, like, dude, don't hate the Jews or something like that, you know, like, the other guy's like, why not? Cuz, just don't hate the Jews. Why not? Like a girl walks in with big tits and it says, don't hate the Jews on her shirt. He's like, that's why, yeah! <laughs> don't hate the Jews. <laughs> People would not hate Jews because they want to be like them kids. <laughs> One time I was, uh, I was uh, walking down the street in New York and this guy told me I was wearing a faggy shirt. What does that mean? Total stranger walks up to me. Hey, nice faggy shirt, you faggot! 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 <laughs> I remember this shirt. It, w it was pink and it had little pictures of guys blowing each other on it. You know, like a, it's like a print. You know what's funny to me? That people get angry that there are gay people that they don't even know. Some people get so angry, like somehow that someone's gay like thousands of miles away, like fucks them up. There's guys that just like, Arr, someone's sucking a cock, damn it! Arr! I know it, someone's fucking a guy up the ass. <laughs> like I can understand it if like two guys are blowing each other on your lawn where you're trying to cut, you know? Arr, come on, I can't cut there. Someone's gotta stop these gay people from this behavior. It's not right. <laughs> I was talking to my friend about uh, my neighbor once and I asked him, do you think he's gay? And my friend goes, uh, yeah, he's really gay. <laughs> what does that mean? How do you get to be really gay? Are there levels? Are you start out a little? I'm just a little gay. I don't know. Just only a little. I just feel like touching a penis. That's all. Just like that. Just a little tiny touching of the penis. And one day you're taking it up the ass, jerking off two guys and blowing somebody all at the same time. And you realize, wow, I'm really gay. Boy, I am the gayest man in the world. I am Fagator. No one is gayer than me. That's a very gay person right there. One time I had a gay dream, though, because you can't, you can't control what you dream about. I had this dream that I was in Italy. It's a really weird dream. I'm in Italy, like, in an outdoor cafe with a friend, and these two young boys pull up, like, on scooters, like, you know, and they go, come swimming with us. We're going to go swimming. And it's a dream, so you just go along. I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? So I get on the back of some kid's scooter, and we go up in the mountains, and they're in this lake, and they take off their clothes, and they go, come into the water. The water is beautiful. So we start swimming with these gay kids. And I ask my friend, is this gay to do this? To, like, swim with young Italian boys? And my friend in my dream, he goes, no, we're just hanging out. And I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so I'm making out with one of the kids, right? <laughs> and it hits me, of course this is gay. What the fuck am I thinking about? How could I have made this mistake? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't like to do anything where my ass is involved in any way. Just my ass. That's my jurisdiction, is my ass. My ass is a very important part of my life. It can fuck up, like, weeks, you know? Like, I was staying in a hotel, and the soap was really nasty, and I had an itchy asshole for, like, a week, and I could have won a million dollars. I still would have been going, Fuck my asshole! It itches! I wanted to, like, eat bad food so I would, like, fart to scratch it. That's how itchy it was. <laughs> no. yeah. One time I had sex with this woman who scared the shit out of me. It was the most traumatic night of my life. I was 18, and I met a woman who was about... 25, she was a nymphomaniac, a true nymphomaniac, which is something that guys think they want, a woman that's going to fuck you all night long, so you find out that, yes, she's going to fuck you all night long. <laughs> Just think about it for a second. Oh, man, it was brutal. She was crazy. She was like, come on, fuck me, come on, fuck me. And I'm like, hey, all right, I think I am. I don't even know. Oh, Just second. And I'm young, so I'm trying to like, yeah, I'm fucking you. Ooh, I, ow, hey, Jesus, stop. Finally, I was like, I don't want to fuck you anymore. I'm sorry that I fucked you and I don't want to fuck you anymore. I want to go home. But she wouldn't stop. She was like backing herself into me really hard. She's going like, bang, bang, bang. And it really fucking hurt a lot, you know? <laughs> so I had to say something to her. 
But what do you say, really, in that situation? What's the appropriate? You know what I said? I said, hey, take it easy there. It's the most polite thing I could think of. I didn't want to say, hey, don't back your snatch into me so hard. You're going to rip my dick off, you fucking lunatic. I thought that would hurt her feelings. Anyway, you guys have been really great. Thanks a lot. I hope you had a good time. Good night. Thanks. Ah, uh, see, they're all mad at us in Buffalo because our shit dicks ain't coming up there for the uh, traveling virus. That wasn't our fault, sir. Yeah, exactly. Well, he hung up on us, so apparently uh, uh, he wins. We are shit dicks. Hold on, let's go to the old K Rock phones. Oh. Uh, Hello? Yeah. Hi, K Rock? Yeah. Hey, uh, what, uh, 92? Yes, yeah, sir. Awesome, man. You got it, baby. So, uh, what is that? Blue Fighter ticket? Yeah, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's what, great. uh, who? You guys, are, you got him? What's that? You got him? I, I, I guess so. How, uh, that's awesome. What, what day is that for? Um, I believe it is the uh, 26th. 26th, fantastic. Do I have to give you my, uh, my name and address and all that stuff? <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah. Hello? What's up? Am I, cl- am I calling on you too? <sighs> Holy shit. Am I? Yeah, you're calling 92. I'm calling 82? Yeah, you won, You just won tickets to Foo Fighters at every club. I did? Wow. Oh my god. That's great. I'm dying to see them. I love that new song. Hello? 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 Am I calling 92? Am I? Hello? Hello? Oh, crap. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? 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 Hi. Hello? My caller 92. 92? Hello? Hello? 92? 92? 92? 93? 92? 92? Hello? 92? Hi. Hmm. Hi. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Hello? 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 Yes? Hello? Yes? Did I, did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Did I win Foo Fighters tickets? Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, yes? Who's the winner? Sandy. Lord. Hello? 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 Hello. 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 Yeah. We have a win. Do, do we have a winner? Uh, uh, Sandy. Uh, hello. Sandy. Hi. Uh, what? Hello. Sandy. Uh, yeah, what? this is Sandy. George. George. What? George. We have a winner. We do. Oh, me. Sandy. George. Yes, I'm- <laughs> George. Wait. Um. Sandy. Ah, uh, George. I'm Sandy. George. Wait. George. George. Yeah, George. George. Ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety two. Foo Fighters. Please. Hello. Tickets? Hello. Sandy. Irving Plaza. Ah, uh, George. George. I'm Sandy. Sandy. George? Hello. Winners? Hey. Tickets. W- Hello. Irving Plaza. 92. Foo Fighters. Now. Sandy? Sandy. George. George. Foo Fighters. <laughs> Foo Fighters. Irving? Irving Plaza? Maids. Agnieszka. <laughs> What's going on? Right. Suck. Blank for K Rock. Suck. What's going on? Sandy. Sandy. George. George. AIDS. <laughs> George ninety two. Hello. George Lopez. George ninety two. George ninety two. Sandy ninety two. Ninety two K Rock. 
Uh, oh, 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 Sandy. Wow. Oh, Sandy. Sandy. Oh, wow. Oh, Sandy. 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 Oh. Sorry. George. Oh, George. Sandy. George. 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 Yeah, George. Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Oh, Sandy. George of the jungle. What happened? 93. Oh. oh, George. Oh, boy. Hello. George. Yeah. You didn't get the text. Wow. Sandy. 91. Yeah. Sandy. Oh. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Oh, oh Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Please. Foo Fighters. Irving Plaza, Sandy, yes. suck cock for K Rock. Not George. Please. Not going. George. 92. Hello? 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 I'm here. All I hear is a bunch of voices. Sandy. 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 Yeah. Sandy. Yeah. Ir Irving Plaza, George. Yeah. Foo George. Fighters. George. Who's George? Who is George? I'm George. George. Yeah. 91. Sandy? Yeah. 93. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. 92. 92. 92. 92, Sandy. <laughs> so, the, uh, so I did win. Oh, Sandy. no. Wow. Oh. oh, but. Sandy. George. Yeah. George. Irving Plaza. Yes. Foo Fighters. Yes. George. 92. Oh. I'm 92. George, 92. George, 92. Awesome. Sandy, oh. 92. Cup of dirt. Urine. Damn. Hickory dickory. Cock. Cock? George. Yeah. George? Yeah. Question. Sure. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. No, no. sorry. Oh, no. No. Jack Sandy? <clears throat> Sandy? Yes. Hey, diddle diddle. All right, you could have just said I didn't win rather than keep me on the phone. Uh, oh, Sandy. Well, I've got all day. But, oh, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, Sandy. Foo Fighters. <laughs> Name a Foo Fighters song. Or, uh, fucking Dave Grohl, man. Oh. I wanna... oh. Song, Sandy. A song. song. A oh. Foo Fighters song. Oh, a song? Yeah. yeah. Uh,. I guess Everlong. Oh. Oh, oh uh, sorry. Come on. Wrong song. Sorry. Sandy? Yes. 92. 92. <laughs> George? Yeah. 94. 94. Minus 2 equals? 92. Oh. 92, Sandy. 92. 92. 3. K Rock. Uh, George? Yeah. Sandy? What? Sandy. Why the long face? <laughs> Hello? Sandy. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why you people are taking pride in this. Sandy, annoyed? Pissed? I'm trying to figure out what it is to do a big funny game. Aggravated. Foo Fighters. Not happy. 92. 3 K Rock. Waste of time. Sandy. Sandy, listen. <laughs> George? Uh, George? I'm here. Sandy hung up. Did she? Yes. Mm. Hey. But thanks for calling. You were the uh, 93rd. 48th. All right, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, was she pissed? She was just yeah, Sandy. Why do you, why, why do you people yes, take yes, pride in this? Why? Why? Why do you why, people take, take pride, pride in, in this? this? Now, for the people <laughs> in America, we have two sets of phone lines here. This is the K Rock line. Right. After we go off the air, they play music and they give away their concert tickets and stuff. Now, our stupid pests now know what we're doing. So, watch what happens now. Yeah, this will all be pissed. Hello. Yeah, hello. 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 How many people? Are hello. Hello. What? I is, would like some fighters tickets, please. Is the uh, caller there? Uh, is the caller what? there? What's up? I'm here. I don't hear her. Do you hear her? No. Nah. Nah. 
You don't hear me? Foo, fi- Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters tickets. Foo Fighters. Yes. This is Animal. Who we got on the line? You got Andre. Who? Oh. Andre, not loud enough. Andre. I Not loud enough. How about this? Andre. No. No, not loud enough. <laughs> Louder. What do I got to do for tickets, man? You got to suck cock for K-Rock. Suck cock for K-Rock? Hello? Who's on the phone? Andre. I heard a female. Lauren. 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 Is that for K-Rat? No, 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 no. My girlfriend will, though. Come on, Foo Fighters. <laughs> Lauren, do you suck? Su- no, 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 no. Lauren wants to go see the Foo Fighters. Who does? <laughs> Lauren. Hey, I'm from Staten Island. We're well, going to have you two Foo Fight It Out. Uh-oh. Fight it out? Yeah, we're Why doing our food fight. Yeah. Fighter contest. <laughs> so Andre, punch her in the twat. Whoever can get the other one to... I'll uppercut her taint for those tickets. Oh, sorry. Lauren, what will you do for the tickets? He'll uppercut your taint. Excuse me? Yeah, he's he just uppercut your taint. That kind of hurts. Now you got to come back here. You're, you're foo fighting. So what do you come back with? Yeah. I'll foo finger her, too. Oh, no, he just foo fingered you. What Uh-oh. are you going to do? He punched in the in the taint and he foo fingered you. So Lauren. far he's winning. Lauren, what are you doing? Well, you got to get him back. You're foo fighting. Right. What do you got? I don't know. I'm not really very violent, but I kick him in the balls if you want. Kick him in the balls. Kick him in the balls. That's not too creative, but yeah, it's but, effective. But we got a foo fight. We got, we got a, a foo fight. fight. Foo fight going on right, right now. Foo fight a K Rock. So you got right. uh, how many? Uh, wow. All right, Lauren. What else are you doing? He's coming up to you. He might give you another uh, shot. What are you going to do? Um. All right. So so far, I'm kicking her. Up me, and I'll go with her. Make make it make it hurt. Make it hurt. All right. Well, let's see. If I'm kicking him in the ball, he's going to be down. I guess I could, I don't know. Maybe I kick him in the head at that point. Oh. He's going to be over, right? Damn. Yeah, damn. I don't know about that. I think that was kind of corny. Damn. you just been pwned. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pwned? You've been pwned. I'll, I'll fuck you. If, I'll, if I win this Foo fuck you. Oh, boy. You now. Can't say it on the, uh, uh, you can't say foo fuck you on, on the air. You That's all right. Fucking <laughs> cunt face. You can't say foo fuck on the air. Yeah, there's FCC, FCC the rules. Fucking FCC, you, say, you fuck shit fuck. cunt. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 are we done with the foo fight? I don't know. Well, Lauren, it's, know. it's to you. Hello? He's going to. Lauren, you got to get graphic. Graphic, but I thought I thought you can't get graphic. On right. Me. Nah, don't worry about he it. gave up. I think I won it. We'll, we'll, don't worry about it. Andre, you just sit down and shut up. Yeah, we'll <laughs> let let her, Lauren uh, kick your ass a little bit. All right, Lauren, what are you gonna do? Reach in with two fingers and do something. Wow. Go ahead. I can't get graphic on King Rock. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh my <laughs> god, oh, Jesus! My god. You're gonna lose. How about we go with our uh, our uh, make them growl to see grow contest. Proud oh, to see <laughs> oh, Since the foo fighting didn't work out? No, thank you, Tom Philly. Ah! Uh, right, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm at work. I have to go outside if we're fighting. I can't. No, no, we want you to growl for growl. Growl? I like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, I, uh, I uh, heard a growl for growl. I think Andre growled oh, for that growl. Was fine. It was a little corny, but... No, no, I think that was Lauren. Yeah, we need, uh, we need a better growl for growl. A growl for growl. Yeah, keep Do you saying really want a growl, like a really, really loud growl? Yeah, like yeah, a... yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, growl for growl. Oh, I'll do, I tell you what, I'm, I'd be screaming my head off Excuse if I was at the suck. concert. Uh, listen. It's either that or we're going to foo fuck you. Fuck all. <laughs> you might not be screaming your head off. If you want, the, could, could you sneeze your cunt off? <laughs> <laughs> How about okay. your... What? Yeah, is, there, is there any chance that I that I'm getting tickets? Are you going to growl for growl or what? Growl for growl. Am I getting abused or? Anything? When are you going to realize you didn't win the stupid tickets, you bitch? <laughs> <laughs> How much more obvious can we make it? Ticket slut. Make a moan. Maybe she'll do that. Wise whore. Tell her to moan for growl. She'll probably do that. Shit. Why don't you moan for a dick in your ass, you fat? <laughs> yeah, you you was calling up too. <laughs> you were calling too. What do you think? You're in the same boat you she's in. You're better. Yeah. The SS loser. <laughs> what do you think? We like cock. Of course, we would have gave it to her. In yeah. This case, exactly. We, we had turn, anything to give away. To turn your dick inside out and fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see Dave Grohl? Turn yeah. on fucking MTV and hope for the best. Yeah. 
Oh, that wow. sucks. Yeah, that's yeah. how we feel it doesn't suck, about you. It doesn't suck to us. I'm going to the show, front row, my friend. That's what us radio people do. Just, to, just if, if if you end up there, just ask for animal. This is what we do to everybody so who doesn't the front get row. everybody who doesn't get tickets gets this. You fuck faces. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I know. Yeah, front row. Like we give a shit about our listeners. Now go away and get back to work. Tell them animal sent you. We got a cushy job to get back to. Goodbye. Oh, listen to kids or cunts. Why nobody listens to you? What? Exactly. Uh, poor guys have picked in high school. They need to sent out. Give me some goddamn tickets. Not only do you like to be fucking <laughs> ass, the tickets, but you push back and dare them to do it harder. You're a queer and you're getting nothing. <laughs> so long, faggot. I'll give you a ticket to a load. What are you thinking, them apples? I'll give you a bleedy dick in your anus. That's right. You get three kinds of AIDS at the same time. That's right. You useless fucking homosexual. Jesus. You, non you non-contributing gay man. That's right. Lou's giving you the business. If there was a Lou here, there's not a Sir? Lou. This is animal. <laughs> Sir? 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 Miss? No, she hung up. Sir? Are not done? No. No, go? we're not done. Did you go now? Why don't you hang up? Our phone's broke. We don't have a hang-up button. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we need that. That's why we've been so mean. We want people to hang up. Yeah, can you go now, please? I'm not hanging up. I want those goddamn tickets. There's something wrong with our phone. You called the cum sniffer hotline. <laughs> we have no hang up power. The only way you're getting a ticket is if you park your car up your mother's cunt, which is a <laughs> fucking tow-way zone because it's so disgusting in there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a ticket for not filling the area enough. <laughs> when did you realize that you, you called the party this line, too sir? Big just for one car. you reached the gay man's hotline. Hi, if you're into hot gay ass sex. Stay on the line. Hello, Andre? <laughs> Please push any key. Push any key for gay If you are a cocksucker. Yeah, push those keys, you dick sucker. <laughs> push one if you like balls in your mouth. Push two if you like your asshole to be pulled out like a bloody tube sock. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna stop. Let him push. <laughs> Let him push. I love it. Zero. <laughs> oh, hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Chat line, hello. But there are also many, many other people who just <laughs> love my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Just play a little oh, tune. Right. Musical faggot. <laughs> Damn, you just been pwned. Oh, oosh, Damn, you've been foo fisted. Damn. Damn, you just been pwned. <laughs> <laughs> we really are phoning it in. <laughs> yes. God damn. Oh, this is unlistenable. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> this is just the worst. What are we doing? This is for our own entertainment. <laughs> we are shitting on Steve Jobs for making a bad iPhone. <laughs> We're right, here we bashing gonna... for our own entertainment. <laughs> it's the pieces. entertainment of one, two, three, six people or so. That's about it. That's it. Hey, uh, buddy. Yeah. You hung in there a long time. Yep. So guess what we're going to do? Uh, I give up. We're guess gonna... where you're going, sir. We're going to call you a faggot again. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> and give you a little of this. Damn, you just been pwned. Boozy, boozy, bop. Exactly. Uh, That's right. I'm a police officer. <laughs> hey, what happened? That doesn't match. Sir? Huh? <laughs> You don't get tickets, but you can have the end of Eddie Van Halen's tongue in a glad baggie <laughs> if you want that. Listen, listen up. <laughs> These are all different. I know. I know. You, you know, Andre. We, we understand. <laughs> You're frustrated. <laughs> we, we understand. I know why that makes you feel better. I understand. Yeah. I'd be doing the same thing in your position. Absolutely. Oh, you like that, don't you faggot. Else I, could do. I wish I knew how to quit you. Those men wanted to have <laughs> sex with me. If you yes. uh, if you have a small dick, push a button. 
<laughs> oh, that's what the thing is. Yeah. yeah. Small dick, huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, if you let a gorilla fuck you in the ass, <laughs> it'll make you forget how small your dick is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You've been flying a long time. You guys do a lot of work. <laughs> We do. We are. This is our jobs. Yeah, we got to get back oh, to. Oh man, it's a great job. You get to poke fun of people you don't even fucking know. Poke fun. Poke fun. Eat how about, fun. Like, how whoa, about whoa, annihilate whoa. verbally? All I've heard is faggot and fucking gay jokes. Your whole life, you mean? <laughs> 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 you know, it's not easy being a board up here at K Rock. So no. please relax. Yeah. We want to have a little fun because we make like eight bucks an hour. I'm, rel I'm relaxed, buddy. I'm calling for tickets. Well, how? Yeah, and we, we're the guys that, you know, work the board and stuff, but, you know, if you kind of... If it bothers you, you should hang up and call the same number again and complain about everything we did. Yeah, we control yeah. the uh, Because the our tickets. bosses at K-Rock will probably fire us. Yeah, okay. I love you, Johnny Cakes. I love you, Johnny Cakes. Listen, listen, uh, why don't we just play a song for you and make, make nice here? Yeah, what do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? Uh, you got any Britney Spears? Ah, uh, see, that, <laughs> see, that was stupid. Yeah, don't go for the laugh, sir. We, no, I, I don't want a fucking song. I want tickets, man. Yeah, what but do you, what do you say? we're an alternative rock station. Why don't how you about, buy them? How about this? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Hicksville. All right, what's your name? My name's Andre. All right, oh, yeah. So you go, hi, this is Andre from Hicksville. You can say who, hi to whoever you want and then request a song. A shout out. Shout out. Uh, this is Andre. No, no, hold on. We got to roll tape and stuff, and then we'll play it. What song you want to hear, though? I got to make sure it's in the library. Uh, just put it some Enter the Sandman. Fuck it. I haven't heard some Metallica. All right. Enter the Sandman. All right. It's a fucking gay song. All right, ready? Yeah, well. Uh, hold on. All right, hold on. Uh, I just want to Hold on. Out. When I, I say... Hold, hold, family, no, 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 no. I want to run a uh, tape for you here. All right, ready? We're recording right now. How you doing? My name is Andre from Hicksville. I want to give a shout out to Amanda and her family. Passed away yesterday. And cut, um, cut, cut, cut. Your phone is crapping out. Are you on a cell phone? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's try that again. All right, let's try that again. All right. Quiet in the studio. Here we go. One, two, three. And we're recording. All right. Everyone at K-Rock, stop my dick. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry, I coughed. Did you cough? Damn it. All right, can we try that again? Hello? Sir? Sir. Yeah. Andre, Hicksville, yeah. shout out. Uh, say how great the radio station is and then the song. We'll start playing over your phone call, okay? Here You're going to get your own, the song you want, and we're going to give you a pillbox hat made out of Amanda's clit. Nice. All right, here, yep. we, go. here we go. We're recording in three, two. Action. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. Did he finally hang There he goes. He finally fucking had it. Jesus. What is he oh, do we, all day? We are the most persistent asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Oh, but that was like 20 minutes. Oh, of just us being too bad. <laughs> bothering one man. For nothing. <laughs> bothering one. It was finally dead Amanda's pillbox hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe that did it. All well, right, after that, we just got to do line of the day, I think. Yeah. Well, I got to go get my phone fixed, because why should I be able to hear? Why? 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 You check your settings. I reset them. I didn't you reset them. them. Well, then they should be fine. Yeah, they should. Let's try. Hey, we got some lines? Yes. All right, what do we got? Some lines? Nah. Why would it work? Ugh. Led Zeppelin set for reunion gig in London. Here it is. What? Official announcement. Oof. Rock legends Led Zeppelin were set to announce a one-off comeback concert on Wednesday, nearly three decades after disbanding. Yuck. There it is. They can do one show in November. In they the already they did Live Aid or whatever, didn't they? Yeesh. With Jason Bonham. They already did this. And it sucked. It did suck. Huh? Want a whole lot of love. <laughs> Want a whole lot of love. <laughs> you need fooling. <laughs> Baby, I'm schooling. All right, we got uh, runner-up lines of the day. Oh, line of the day brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. If you're playing fantasy football this year, head over to BodogFantasy.net for everything you need to win the season. Here's a runner-up line of the day. What are you doing, Iraq? Oh, it's not Iraq. We if it was playing, it. we'd hear it. It's obviously your fault. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, shoulder shot. Here's a runner-up line of the day. Go. <laughs> is it still playing? We're all... Was it, oh, all e Rock. Are you all deaf and you have good ears? <laughs> Fundamental radio. He's playing uh, it through the iPhone. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, it's Jimmy's iPhone. Uh, uh, problem, Iraq? What? Just say it, Iraq. What's wrong? 
It's not being heard on the airwaves. They're yeah. implying that you made an air rope. Why are you calling me a dick? Oh, shit. Snap. What? Called him a dick. My boards off. Yeah. boards off. Oh, dick. The whole time. But you just blew the call not a dick. That. Dude, damn! You just been pwned. Oh yeah! No shit! Oh yeah! I like to make werewolf movies. Doesn't compare to this. Oosh! <laughs> Nothing does. <laughs> Nothing does. Oosh! How did my fucking clip go down to second place all of a sudden? Dude, damn! This was you just been pwned. You've been pwned. Just deal with it. But this was the one. I like to make werewolf movies. This is okay. the most popular until today. That's always funny. But <laughs> What's the top five, you think? That one is up there. Too no. bad he can't be wear normal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's normal. <laughs> Don't make werewolf movies. There's a full moon. <laughs> uh, this I like tying my shoes without shitting my pants <laughs> just once in my life. Just once. Why does God hate me? Uh, this just in. Yes. John Bonham is coming back, but he'll be a little stiff and rusty. Oh, let's uh, <laughs> see. I got it. All right, here's a runner-up line of the day. You rock? Yeah, when they're three, you're like, so what? She won't remember this, you know? They I'll do. punch her in the face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to wipe the hard drive in a minute. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great analogy. Yep. <laughs> By the way, like in case you're drive. wondering, Pat uh, Duffy never came back. So, yeah, yeah what happened? We don't know what that's that. about. So, don't know what happened. We'll find out hopefully tomorrow. He was abducted wearing that little backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, someone snatched him up. Uh, here's another runner-up line of the day. Gotta go. Well, if it's worse than cocaine, but yeah. it's not because it doesn't have a taste. So this, yeah. What? Well, uh, yeah, I don't get it. Like, hell no. Is this guy gonna fill his pool up with tab? <laughs> 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 yes, of course. Got something in your shoe, Jimmy? My orthotics are broken in half. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> orthotics? You're too young. Look at your orthotics. orthotics. My orthotics are broken. Oy vey. Go on without me. <laughs> Just the worst on this show. We're all broken in uh, so many ways. Everyone's busted. Yeah. How much boss was here? So we could do that reference he does from the Christmas movie about the uh, the island for broken toys. <laughs> oh, he fucking that reference! I want to fucking just I want to lick his teeth. Oh God! <laughs> fucking uh. hell no to H two O! Hell no to H two O! It is an epidemic. Hell no to H two O! Hell no to H two O! Worst than Joe Cash. Hell no to H two O! Hell no to H two O! Hell no to H two O! Gotta go when you serve that H two O! Bush. What is that? <laughs> Hello. You missed a lot today. I did, yeah. We started a new bit called uh, Morning Zoo Bits of the Day. Okay. So then we're just like... Oh, that's somebody's zoo. It's zoo one of someone's awful fucking oh, shit song. They put it parody. on their show thinking, wow, this is going to get people listening. Oh, God. Hold on. Is they that... produced that. Someone yeah. spent some time on GarageBand and made that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to hear Rock'em... Wait, Kid like, Rock'em... You know, every time I do one of these zoo shows, because I, you know, when I work at club, I'll have to call in the morning before to all the radio stations. Yeah. If I don't go personally. And the person that was right before I go on on the phone always says, um, the fellow you're going to hear is, his name is, you know, whatever, uh, Cowface. <laughs> um, uh, Zach Jack is the guy with a deeper voice. And then the woman is Linda or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, you don't have to tell me. Like, I need to fucking know who the douchebags are on the radio that I'm <laughs> talking to. Oh, make sure that you're clear. Okay. And occasionally, a madman is going to chime in. Madman is chimes in. Madman will background. chime in. Oh, good thing I know that. Yeah. That's, that's their stunt board. You don't yeah. really have to answer to madman, though. Do they think I'm going to, like, try to sound folksy by going, well, I'll tell you what, madman. Thanks for the question. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're, like, you're, I'm not, you're like, local. I'm going to fucking bother saying their names. Uh, and we wonder why people don't want to do radio shows. Like, uh, we get pissed every day because uh, we're lumped painful. into that shit. Hello, thank you very much, Howard. Hello. Uh, it's great to be. I'm sorry I'm not wearing a suit, uh, but it's a birthday party. If he's when he dies, I'll wear a suit. I promise. <laughs> but I, in all seriousness, I'm very honored to be here amongst all these people and here for Howard. And Howard and I actually met a long time ago, and he—you probably don't remember this. I don't think you do. And I'll, and I never told this story. But this is a true story. When I was growing up in Newton, Massachusetts, back in the 70s, <laughs> Howard was going to Boston University at the time, and there was a there was a pool, like a swimming pool at, at BU that me and my friends figured out how to sneak into, and we used to swim there at night. And one night I went there by myself, and I was swimming, 
And I kind of choked and coughed or something, and I caught a mouthful of water, and I started going down. And I remember I couldn't, I was going to die. And I felt someone swoop into the water, and I felt these strong hands pick me up and pull me out of the pool. And next thing I know, I'm, I'm laying on the back, um, you know, and there is this big man. And I said, who are you? And he said, my name's Howard Stern. And I said, Howard, you saved my life. And he said, don't worry about it. And we just looked at each other, and we started to hug. And I remember, his, like, he had his weight on me, and it felt good. <laughs> it felt safe. And, and he said, is it okay if I kiss you right now? Oh, boy. <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to kiss you anyway. And then he came on my face. <laughs> But I just want to say, th thank you, Howard. Was I that quick? I don't remember it that way. It was, yeah. I thought it, it was, was more you. foreplay. <laughs> didn't, didn't really happen, but... Yes, it did. In truth, the way I ever knew... I didn't know who Howard was. I did grow up in Newton, and I, 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 I got a car. My first car was a Datsun B210, a 1978 Datsun B210. And the day I got that car, I said, I'm, I just got on, on the turnpike and went all the way to New York City. It's a true story. Like, the minute I got the car, I drove to New York City. I was, like, 17 years old. And then I got stuck in traffic for fucking hours. And that fat piece of shit wasn't even mayor yet, or whatever it is, of the other place. <laughs> It's a cheap joke. I don't care. It's all y'all suck my dick. Anyway, so I'm in traffic and I'm listening to some guy I'd never heard of, and he's on a megaphone prank calling Yoko Ono. <laughs> and I'm listening to this, and I'm, I, I didn't. I just turned it on, and there's, and I, I was like, who, "This is the worst shit. This is." Play a fucking song. I was angry, and I had to piss in a Pepsi bottle because I was in traffic for so long, and. Three hours I sat and listened to him, and by the end of the three hours, I was like, I love this man. And to me, this man was New York City. If New York City is a place where a guy like this can be on the radio and be the, the voice of the city, I want to live here. And by the time I made it through the, to the tolls, I decided I'm moving to New York. And really, you're, because Howard, to me, is the guy who said, be yourself and let the chips fall where they may. And that made me feel good, because... Uh, so I owe you a lot, Howard. You moved me to the city, and you made me uh, be a courageous individual. Now, is that a true story like That's the other true. one? Oh, that is true. That's really? true. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. so honored. I, I've never heard that before. That's, That's true. fantastic. I don't know what to say. You've left me speechless. That's all I... I, I, I don't have to tell jokes, do I? Because that's all I fucking... <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what you do. Right. Take a seat. Well, thank, thank Louis, you. Uh, thank, thank you, you very much. That. That's all I... Louis, I'm so honored that you're here. Can you even hear in here? It's crazy, isn't it? I can't hear you. What'd First you of all, I just wanted to say I'm honored that you are here, that you oh, would even thanks. show up for my birthday, because I know you have a million other things to do, I think. Well, I was just right up the street, which, by the way, so is Jerry Seinfeld. He's like two blocks from here. What is going on? He's two blocks away. Fact, and like he, couldn't... he filmed the thing at Times Square. That's literally 10 blocks from here. <laughs> yeah, like, why not just come here? Yes. Are you a drinking man? Do you want to join us in a what is celebratory it? birthday? Sure, have, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. First of all, I, I um, oh I actually been sober for 15 years, but fuck it. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 hi, Robin. It's nice to see you. Look beautiful. Is... By the way, after we take this drink, do yeah. me a favor because I always Wait. wanted to ask you. Yeah, what? Explain to me how Louis C.K. is Mexican because I okay. do not understand that at all. I'll explain. I, is it really true that you are Mexican? I am. Yeah, you yeah, are Mexican. Mexican. My dad's Mexican. Okay, all right. I didn't understand. All right. Well, yeah. uh, to Louis, Jimmy, Robin. That's to you, Howard. Oh, to Mexican. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. To everybody. <laughs> I hope everybody is drinking. Thank you. Are we doing this in one big shot? Yeah, it's a shot. Oh, right, right. yeah. oh, there you go. Hey. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> wow, that's oh, beautiful. Father's balls. <laughs> oh, my God. That was very, very wow. good. What's going on with dating? Now, Jenny McCarthy is here. I tried to set you up with her. Jenny, Jenny I... is she here? No, oh, I'm, I'm, a better I'm duo. seeing somebody now. Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. It's too late for Jenny. Huh? That's right. Sorry, I don't know where you are. But... So we seeing a famous actress. Uh, someone... No, but it's just somebody. I, I love her and we're happy. Oh, so, oh you're kidding. Yeah, you're no. in love. 
Yeah. Is that a uh, is that something that uh, will be on? Um, I don't know, the National Enquirer I, version. Not that I care, care it to be. <laughs> now, how come you? You know, what advice would you give to someone like Alec Baldwin, who is constantly in the newspaper? He's constantly uh, harassed by paparazzi. I don't see anybody going after you, Louis. Yeah. How do you I, stay so low profile? <clears throat> yeah. How do you stay <laughs> low profile? <laughs> I don't go anywhere. I do my job. Like I go do my shows, and right. when I go home and I'm with my kids, I just stay out of the places. So what is he doing wrong? I don't Alec know. Baldwin. I don't know. I guess he told, they, they ask him stuff him? and he talks back. Yeah. What is that, Jimmy? Why won't you help him, Louie? Why won't I help Alec Baldwin? <laughs> yeah, why don't you help I don't Alec think Baldwin? he depends on me. Give him a call. I, he's got a lot of brothers. He has uh, <laughs> well, they're no fans. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know what to say to him. Well, it I don't even know much of what you're talking about. His wife didn't do yoga in the street. You know, like every time she does I in see the street? them. Yeah, she's, you know, using the stroller yeah. to, to hold up her leg or something. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> hey, by the way, I want to say something, Louie. I don't know if you're looking at We have such a beautiful crowd here tonight. There's so many surprises. And, you know, I was watching the great... Adam Levine and Pat Monahan. And by the way, yeah. that is my favorite Prince song of all time. Yeah. Right? That was a fantastic song. rendition, and it was fantastic. But That's during song. the song, I look out, and yeah. I see Sandra Bernhardt is teaching Ta- yeah. Tracy Morgan Kabbalah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it was really something awesome. And I, I want to I say And what did Tracy teach Sandra? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get that far into <laughs> To get it. pregnant. Right. Anyway, where are we at in the show, Jimmy? Are you on time? Yeah. Am I, uh, you're the oh, the show's been off the air for half an hour. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's just an hour show. <laughs> We're doing bullshit Jimmy, right now. Jimmy, don't step on all this tape on I'm this sorry, stage. Oh, am I the one that's stepping on this tape? No, no, no. This is a beautiful design on our yeah. stage. All right, Howard. Well, yeah. um, uh, would you re- are you ready for another video message? Only if Louis is. Sure. Louis, are you ready for a video message? I'm, I'm down for anything. It's another person who's in New York but couldn't won't make it come, here, won't I'm sure. get an yeah. Uber and no? come down here. It's Actually, somebody even closer to here than Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah. Actually, not true, Howard. Somebody who's playing at MSG tonight. <laughs> yeah. We are going to direct your attention again to the video screen for a message from Matt Lauer and Al Roker, who are on the 